Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing turn-based 4X space strategy game Galaxy Union. It focuses on more of the economic aspects of controlling an empire, and you win the game by earning achievements that they call shares. Once you win half the shares, you win the game. Game doesn't offer a main menu. <laughs> it just launches you straight into the game, uh, or a tutorial. Although it does have these little help descriptions up here to kind of give you the very basics of the game. Uh, but the mechanics are a little bit odd and different. So, uh, you know, it's hard to learn the game, uh, to say the least. So, uh, what I'm going to do is start on my home planet right here, designated by the little arrow. Double click to zoom in. Interface is very basic, uh, to say the least. Uh, basically what you do is you mine resources and it actually gives you the periodic table here you actually mine actual things from the periodic table which is kinda cool uh, and then it sells them on the market uh, and the buying and selling price are fixed they're basically uh, and you can get little graphs uh, basically you know set based on how much is generated throughout the universe and then you buy things uh, automatically from the market uh, to construct things and do all the other stuff in the game. So here's your basic home planet. Start out with a colony hub. If you right click on an empty area you can create a new building which you know does things like here you can see trained officers, provides population for labor, uh, trains your armies, increases the defense. Uh, let's see what else here. You got factory that manufactures goods that you patent uh, which is another aspect of the game I'm going to talk about in a second. Food for your population, tax income, mines, which extracts the raw resources that are available on your planet. So I'm actually going to build that. Uh, let's see what else we have here. A power plant that provides power, residences for your workers, uh, and a shipyard once you can build ships, although they're very, very expensive. Uh, trader office, which brings in more income, and then a water pump that provides water. So let me actually build it that there uh, and then I also need food so I need to build a farm there we go so now I need water so I gotta build water water pump there we go so there's kind of a basic setup there um, and each time that you build those things it actually you can see the cost over here it trades from the market so uh, you know you can basically make a lot of money by selling things that people use to manufacture their buildings. So there's my first colony. That's a good little uh, up and running thing. See here on the patent office, uh, there's four main things you can patent it to begin with. Uh, construction materials takes uh, halogen, a metalloid, and a noble gas. Uh, electronics, which I can actually patent right now. Uh, so there we go, haha. -ha. So now I can produce electronics on my planet in a factory. Uh, takes a uh, basic good and a post transition metal obviously and it highlights in green uh, valid choices which is actually pretty uh, good so I actually need another metalloid here because I do have an alkaline metal and a post transition metal uh, and I also need noble gas and alkaline metal uh, to do pharmaceuticals so this is kind of your starting uh, point because once you patent these things you bring in, bring in a whole bunch of money uh, so let me see if I can get my factory going here now that I can actually afford to construct stuff so there goes my factory and then you can actually uh, and we'll set the production here Let's see which thing did I patent I patented electronics so I'm going to set my production to electronics use my patent there you go so now <laughs> a whole bunch of new things are needed there uh, you know, it's going to have to get these basic goods and stuff from uh, other places. So I'm just going to do the turn here. And I made a whole bunch of money uh, because of my patents, basically, my manufacturing that stuff. So uh, that's really how you pull in the money. And I actually need a lot more stuff here. Definitely need a power plant. So I'll click that on. There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's all right. The rest of the stuff we'll just have to trade for. Um, so you can zoom back out with the mouse wheel back up to here. I'm going to turn this on populated. And of course, everything around me is already taken. Once you colonize the star system, it's yours uh, to own. So kind of the closest one is over here. 
it looks like, or over on this side. So if you double click, it'll zoom in, and then you can see all the planets here. Gives you, you know, you can colonize it, although, you know, 6,000 is kind of expensive. Uh, so that would take a couple turns for me to do that. But there are some interesting things around here. Around gaseous planets, you can do um, a space station, which will collect the gas and then also do research for you. Uh, so let me zoom back out and go to my home system here. There we go. Kind of a delay there. So I could actually, if I wait a turn, I could put a s research station on here and start pulling in uh, some of the gases I need for some more of the patents. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. There we go, colonize. And I'm going to extract some gas. And then you can see you can do a little research buildings. Armor, you know, shields, and stuff like that. So, and then you can also upgrade buildings uh, at a cost of resources. And I actually went into uh, the red a little bit. So I can set my production on that guy, pick any of these four. Let me see which one I need for my patents. So I already have a. So, yeah, let's see which ones need the gas here. Metalloids, alkali metals. Yeah, metalloids. So let's set our production to. Everyone owns the most money, so let's do neon. There you go, so he's producing 10 neon. So good for you. Uh, let's see if there's any other patents I can do here. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, patent exists. Yeah, I think that was the one that I did. Uh, so I do need a metalloid to do that one and an alkali metal. So I gotta go find some planets that have those things. So I'm going to have to go colonize uh, some nearby planets. Uh, and then that's basically it. You can uh, do ships, too, if you go to the military. But these ships are very expensive. Um, and you actually need a shipyard to do it. Even the basic ship is 1,000 uh, credits. So you really aren't building a military to begin with. You really kind of have to wait until you start accumulating a lot of income. Uh, which, if you set up everything correctly, actually happens not too uh, slowly. So let me do a couple turns here. I think it was like 6,000 for a colony. So there you go. So one more turn there. I should be able to colonize whatever I want here. Uh, so let's see what I can get here. i got to remember my alkali metals. Ah, yeah. Over on that side. Ah, oh, there you go. Rubidium. That'll work. Uh, 7,000. Oh, come on. 10 bucks. Give me a break. All right, there you go. Colonize. So, do my mine. There you go. And we'll do rubidium. All right. I should be able to patent something else. Yep, there we go. Perfect. And I can actually do one with radon, too, I think. Yeah, a couple of pharmaceutical ones. So as long as, you know, you can do multiple patents for the same things. Uh, boom, basic goods, done. Ooh, construction materials, done. So pretty good. So I can start to manufacture those things. So I actually probably go to my home, my home system and uh, set up factories to start doing that stuff with the patents. Uh, new building, factory, new building, factory, set production, patent, basic goods, set production, construction material. There you go. Although, you know, it has a lot of uh, needs there, but it should be raking in the money pretty much. Yeah, like 3,000 a turn. So I'll go back over to my other system with the arrow. Uh, the slow animation on the zoom is a little annoying, but you know what you're going to do. So let me do a factory here. Let's see, what can I 
What earns me the most money? 117 for electronics. I do have a patent for it though. So I need power. And then you can actually upgrade these things. So upgrade that mine, upgrade that factory, upgrade my power plant. Need more labor, so do some apartments. Now I need some water. There we go. The mouse wheel doesn't work in the menus, which is a little annoying. I need a farm. Alright, so there we go. And I should be pulling in a lot of money per turn. Yeah, like 4,000 a turn now. From my factories. And you can see that it's automa it automatically trades in the commodities I need to manufacture, but it's well worth it. So really that's how you get a whole bunch of money in the game is by doing patents and then manufacturing the stuff yourself. I think I, oh no, got another one. Gallium, I got both of those. Just clicking through to make sure I didn't miss one. Oh, there we go, there's another one. Yep, alright, so I got all those, so uh, let's see if I can do some more here. Yeah, let's do that. Do gas extraction. And we'll set it to xenon. Why not? Well, what's the? Yeah, they're all the same. And it's. And you can do little research things there too if you want. So. And whatnot. And those both of those are get oh, no, that one I can actually colonize too, but not until I get five thousand. It's basically two turns. Uh we'll mine. I'll do lead. So I don't have to pull it in. So you can see it's a very economic Focus and iodine. We'll start factoring these people too. 48. Use my patent on electronics. And. 212 for robots. Oh my gosh. No, it's because nobody has them yet. What else do I have a patent on? 100 still electronics. Got a lot on basic goods. I'm going to have to use the rest of my slots to... There we go. Alright, so I definitely need some power. Yes, power plant. Yeah. There we go. Got a little menu mess up. Uh, and I do need some apartments. And I do need some water. Like I said, even if you're short of a resource, it'll buy it on the open market, but it's usually cheaper just to kind of do it yourself. Uh, Alright, so let's do a turn. <laughs> now I'm pulling in 7,000 a turn, so I could actually afford uh, some ships, to say the least here. Although I don't think I have a shipyard yet. I don't think I have room for a shipyard either. But I can start colonizing things. Let's just colonize this. As long as it has a non-gas planet on it, which it does. Sure. Okay, let me build my shipyard, just to show off how the ships work. There you go. I'm going to be in the red, but I'm going to gain money here in a little bit. Oh, not this turn, I'm not. There we go. <laughs> 5,000. Again, it's pretty easy once you learn the mechanics and how to use the patents to just go crazy and start building stuff. So you need water. I'm going to put some factories on this planet too. Uh, what did I want to do? I want to mine something. 
Uh, bismuth. Factory. And what are the electronics? Well, I should probably do some basic goods. I would say, since I use that. There you go. So there's that basic one. And then I can uh, build a shipyard in a second. Alright, time to get some ships together. The maintenance for ships is extremely high, which is what I'm gonna uh, about to show you. I wouldn't actually uh, <laughs> make ships this early in the game if I was playing for real instead of just making the video because uh, they do have such a high cost. But what you do is you basically just uh, you can create a new fleet. There you go. And then you just drag and drop the ships over, whichever ones you want. So there's that one. And that one. And I can do one more. And then you make your little fleet there. Uh, and there you go. And then when you do your turn, you'll find out I make a lot less money now. Because <laughs> that ship basically takes up 4,000 of my income for th like four ships. Yay, I guess. So, I actually could probably colonize this thing. Get some more of those. Uh, actually, I kind of want to call. I want to do places where I can get factories. So, the l little blue sideways arrow shows you that uh, you can. Uh, that's where your ships are. Which way I want to go? go? This way. I'm just going to kind of. Yeah, these look like all gas planets anyway. Yep. I don't need no gas. I want some factories. There we go. This one looks good. 14,000. Good lord. It's probably a distance thing. Let's see if it's any better over here. Yeah, 8,000. This is two gases and the thing. Alright, we'll wait till 8,000 then. There we go. That was easy. Colonize. All right, we'll mine. Whichever worth the most money, silicon. We'll mine. The other one that was kind of a lot. Calcium. I'll uh, probably have to wait a turn here in a second. I'm going to start running out of money. Build a factory. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Basic goods. And yeah, we'll skip a turn. There we go. So I need some power. There we go. And you can actually upgrade your stuff. I haven't been doing that very much as much as I should. You know, it'll basically increase the effectiveness of your stuff. Need some apartments. Need some water too. Yep, oh, I'm out of money. Alright, wait a turn. There you go. Need some water. There's tons of AI you're kind of playing against. to say the least, and I need to upgrade my power plant. There we go. That should be pretty good for that little colony. Uh, you know, and then you just kind of expand out and then just start raking in the money and start taking over other places. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's uh, Galaxy Union. So, I mean, I, there are some things in the game that I like. I like, I really like the patent system where you mine specific realistic, somewhat realistic resources, you know, from the periodic table, and then file a patent and then make tons of money off of that. That's a really interesting game mechanic. Um, the fact that everything's done from the market is a little bit weird initially, because you don't realize that everything just kind of goes through there and you just spend money to acquire the resources you don't have on hand. Um, you know, so basically you're selling it to the market and then buying it back yourself if you're transferring it between systems. Uh, but you can, you know, try to focus on things that are in high demand to make the most money. Colonization, you don't even need ships to do it. You just click and do it, uh, which is a little weird. 
Um, but there's not very many places to, to go after just because there's so many AI uh, around uh, the area. And then there's research at your little gas space stations, which is interesting. And then fleets are really expensive too, so it's something you kind of hold off on until you have kind of expanded out enough uh, and gone there. The game, unfortunately, is inaccessible. It took me a while to kind of figure out the basics of the game. Like I said, there's no tutorial, there's no menu. There's this help that really just covers the basics of what you can do in the game. Um, and it really takes us several games to kind of figure out how things work uh, before you can be somewhat effective at it. Um, so while I don't think a lot of people, except people who really like 4X games, will find, you know, the interface and the kind of obtuse mechanics appealing, uh, it does have several neat ideas uh, that I find pretty interesting. So, um, which I think kind of that description kind of goes for a lot of indie games uh, made by uh, small development teams. So, that's all I have for today. Till next time, bye now.